One of my great grandpas lived to be in his late 90s. But uh, there's a little old lady from Pasadena that was filling up her car, uh, her uh, Mary Kay pink Cadillac or something, at a self-serve pump, 107 years old. There's a man in the UK I heard lived to be 119, so he almost got to the edge. And the odd time you see on the news, one of these old timers, they're pushing their walker around in a fundraiser, and they're like over 100 years old, raising money for some cause in our world, right? So this is good, but you know, you may have heard something, and I'm not talking about the news, because in case there's like dummy news or fake news where somebody lied just to attribute a poke at you or whatever, think about everybody you know in your life. All the people you're connected to in family, relatives, friends, clans, everybody you know, you will not be able to think of anybody that lived over 120 years. I know you won't. I can't. It's good. It's reality. And the other thing I guess I wanted to show you too, and I, I believe you generally believe what I'm putting forth because I put a lot of effort into studying this, but you got to make your own choices and know it's true to you. So I always say that. That's how I came on this journey. I wanted to know for me, not what people told me all the time. Some of it I didn't think was true. It didn't add up to me, so I dug in deeper. The other thought I have, so I always say that to you, right? Have your choice. Make your choice. The Continental Divide. Now, this was scientific proof of what happened that the Ark days inevitably were there, right? I prose this to you. At one time, it was thought by scientists that the continents, the continental uh, divide, continental drift, sorry, wrong term. Continental divide is a hiking trip from Banff to Jasper. <laughs> I've been around a lot, a lot of places. It's good. Anyways, uh, the continental drift was at one time all the land on our planet, on Earth, was in one mass. And if you actually, and you can see it actually, it was all one continent or like big country, a continent. If you look at it, you can see how if it drifted apart maybe if you put it back together in the shape. How the Americas fit into the Europe, like, you know, like two spoons cupping together in a drawer, right? Like it fits. And in the days of the flood, it was thought, I suppose, where there was like, torrential rains for 40 days and nights to uh, tsunamis we call them nowadays and earthquakes and all kinds of land mass explosions going on around the earth destroying the earth in those days to reset it kind of like when a lightning storm hits a forest it burns it down and then so regrowth can happen and new can start it's like the laws of nature and uh so scientists equated when all this happened uh, in this continental drift thing, uh, with, and I equate that back to this arc scenario when the earth was flooded, when you tie the two science and faith together into one um, you know, thought process, these tectonic plates underneath the earth caused the, uh, and maybe this happened in our solar system with the planets too, I don't know that, I haven't studied into some of that obviously, at this point in time, I might get more into it as the Jeff Bezos rocket stream takes off in the blue space orb. We'll see. I might learn. I did a bit of that in school a long time ago, but I was always interested in laying on the lawn as a kid, looking up at the stars, finding the Big Dipper, finding the constellations, Cassiopeia, you know, all that, the Little Dipper, Orion. Southern Cross, I've never seen in Australia. I want to go see the Southern Cross someday. All that. Take my kids hiking down there in New Zealand, I suppose. We'll go as a family. All that. It'll be fun. I'll afford that. It'll be good. But uh, anyway, the continental drift, these, I guess what happened, these tectonic plates moved and moved the, and you can draw it back to the day when it was one. Even the indigenous people, you know, the explorers came over from Europe and UK, you know, all that, Europe, UK, all that stuff, and uh, Christopher Columbus and all that. Well, they got here, and the indigenous people, they found them here. But originally, if you think about it in this drift theory of science, and it equates to the scripture, they line up and match up in my version of this. 
we are all one family. So the indigenous people came from the roots of the Indian people and the Israeli, all the people that were one people originally, and then got off into their different branches of the tree. So really, when Columbus, Christopher Columbus came over, we were just reuniting family with family. Well, we, we did it in war and unfruitful ways in mankind. It wasn't good. But people got to get along, so we're all one family, and I'm closing with that. Go and have a good day. God bless you and good business with you today in the March of Life.